If we were more emotionally honest about how we feel about the Orlando shooting, we would be expressing that the emotions we're feeling isn't as much sorrow for all those individuals who we didn't, most of us didn't know anyone who was involved, who was killed, who was hurt. But the feeling of helplessness that we get from not knowing when or where something is going to strike and this feeling of helplessness that there's nothing we can really do to stop these incidents from happening. That's why videos like some of my previous ones to this have upset people because, you know, I'm saying, well, nothing you do is going to help this. And they're like, you know, and it increases that feeling of helplessness. And I understand that. But we need to look at these emotions for what they are from the start. And I think to myself, what at the at the pride the next pride march in Seattle, what is it on the 29th, I think. Maybe I have the date wrong. Um you know, what are, are at the Seattle Center where it it eventually takes place. I kind of miss it when it was on going down Broadway when it was at uh Volunteer Park, but um are they going to have it surrounded by all these gates that are like going through the to the airport with those little uh, instant X-ray machines and and all that stuff, and have police and have having you know surrounding the whole area? I doubt it. It kind of worries me. I may, I may not go. I was originally planning on going, and then this happened, and I'm like, Ugh. oh, but we don't want to admit that. Oh, because then the terrorists win. Let's be emotionally dishonest because otherwise the terrorists win. Well, it's obvious they have a major effect on society. And we should be honest about when it when it does occur. Um, when, when we do feel the way we do about something. Yeah, oh, we need to be strong and, and, and not admit to having that. Oh, so we'll, we'll feign uh, sorrow will feign sorrow instead. I mean, we can we can change one emotion. We can kind of push its limits a little. Yeah, let me let me manipulate this emotion to be just a little bit. You know, if if, if emotion is a wheel, you just be pushing yourself just a little bit further on that wheel, um, and manipulate it into something else. I mean, I feel so, I I feel very bad that those people died. But I didn't, I didn't know any of them. And the less you know about someone, the less empathy you can have for them. That's just a fact. Um, there, there's, there's really nothing you can do about it. It's automatic. It's, it, oh, well, I'll try to have more empathy for, for this group and this group. No, just be honest. Just be emotionally honest right from the start. You know, if you don't know someone, it, the, the most feeling that you, you're going to be able to have over this person you don't know, don't know anything about, um, I mean, it's it's pretty much, in, in you know, all you know, it, it's an anonymous human, right? You're going to feel the same, the, the, mo the most you could feel for that person is that of a really well acted character in a movie that's the most you could feel and even that's pretty over the top if you get emotional at movies anyway so the rest of it is fabricated don't tell me that about well why don't you feel that way then when uh, you know, and all these atrocities happening in other countries and you don't know anything about those people, do you still feel the same about them? You could say, well, I didn't know about it. But is that really the difference here? Or is the difference because the people in Orlando, they are more close to your tribe because 
they come from a culture that's similar to yours, so you'll at least have that knowledge about them. But when it's a when it's people living in a culture that's completely foreign to you, you don't know how any of their stuff works. So when you think about uh, uh, some random person dying from that kind of culture, it's it in your mind it becomes more like uh, the way we think of non-human animals uh, dying in some place that we don't know anything about, and it's not that we can't have empathy, it's just we don't know enough about uh, the culture or the individual people to have any more emotion about it. We're What we're not emotionally invested in, we're not going to have ver- that much feeling in. Um, and you can't say that, that that's cruel, that's, that's just reality. The only way that we're going to be able to get that empathy is if we truly learn about those cultures, whatever they might be. And just learning about them on paper doesn't really help that much. And that's the problem. We would have to actually go to those places and talk to the people and really, really see with our own eyes and our own senses how those cultures work, how they function, how the people function within those cultures. And that would give us the actual idea. Otherwise, I mean, it, again, it would be just like uh, learning more about some character in a movie as far as the amount that we can empathize towards. We have to really understand. A lot of people were very emotionally a- attached, emotionally even obsessed with Prince. And when Prince died, uh, they really, really felt strongly about it. I had no emotional investment in Prince, and I just didn't really feel much of anything, but oh no, we've got another another really well-known star has died. This year has been awful that way. Um, but for me, when David Bowie died, I had a lot of invo- emotional investment in him, and it just it just... Man, I was a mess for several days. Probably a week. You know? I'm just a mess. I just wake up and start crying. I mean, I, I know that probably seems ridiculous, but it just... I, I was very emotionally invested in, in, in David Bowie. And the different things that we're emotionally invested in are going to be, of course, very individual. But we don't really feel very much for the people of cultures that we are not a part of. It's all about tribalism. If it's people that live in the same country, then there are going to be certain customs you know are the same, certain attitudes that are going to be the same, and so you know enough in that area where the person is in at least the tribe of your country, the tribe under the government that you reside. And you're going to have more empathy towards that person just out of them being part of your tribe. You can claim this isn't the case, but this can be proven. Okay, this is just how we are as humans. That's just how it is. This idea that we should feel bad for that is 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 outrageous and there are people that try to shove forth that we should feel bad for that it's like look you can't make yourself feel something that you don't and if you convince yourself that you do you've just encouraged insanity and to those who try to argue that well we should feel more empathy well that's going back to the society doesn't have to fallacy or maybe this one should be called the society should fallacy But back to the Orlando shooting, if you want to help, I will leave a couple links in the description bar of places that you can donate that will help go to uh, the victims, the victims' families, and uh, some of the the communities, and anyone that's really trying to really help over there. So, uh, 